Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interested in today's video. As for 5G, people don't pay much attention to it now, and the related discussions have also decreased. The reason is that China has basically completed the construction and popularization of 5G. After all, according to the rule of mobile communication technology for 10 years, the time is now halfway over. Even 6G technology has been stepped up for research and development, but people probably didn't expect that 5G is still a big problem for many European countries, especially the UK, which followed the US restrictions and banned Huawei equipment. Now the price is apparent. Recently, the International Speed Measurement Agency UCLA released the Global Assessment of European 5G Standalone Digital Competitiveness report, analyzing the deployment and commercialization of 5G standalone networking, SA, in major global regions such as Asia, Europe, and North America. The data in the report shows that in the sampling data of 5G standalone networking, SA, Europe has dropped from 2% in the first quarter to 1.3% today, while China is 80% and the United States is 24%. The proportion in Europe has not increased but decreased, and the gap is getting bigger and bigger. It is worth mentioning that there is also an obvious polarization phenomenon in the development of 5G in Europe, and the regional development gap is very large. Among them, 5G development in northern and southern European countries such as Spain, Italy, and Sweden is relatively fast, and 5G availability is relatively advanced. However, 5G development in some Central and Western European countries is relatively slow, and 5G in countries such as the United Kingdom, Hungary, and Belgium are lagging behind. The reason why Spain and Italy are able to lead in 5G is that they did not completely exclude Huawei before, so 5G construction has not fallen behind. Especially in Spain, Telefonica also worked closely with Huawei to lead in SE network. Although Sweden also excluded Huawei 5G, fortunately there is still Ericsson, a communications giant, and 5G construction has not fallen behind. The slow development of 5G in many other European countries is mostly due to following the restrictions of the United States which has led to the current self-inflicted consequences in 5G construction. In May 2019, the United States began to sanction and suppress Huawei, which is leading in 5G, on the grounds of maintaining national security. The United States added Huawei and its subsidiaries to the so-called entity list and also pressured allied countries to exclude Huawei 5G. The United States even sent many senior representatives to lobby and pressure other countries and regions for this. Under the coercion and inducement of the United States, the United Kingdom, Canada, Sweden, Australia and other countries followed the restrictions and decided to exclude Huawei 5G. Among them, the most typical example is the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom can be said to be one of the first countries to test Huawei 5G, and it has experienced the ultra-fast speed brought by Huawei 5G in advance. Therefore, the United Kingdom is one of the first countries to decide to deploy Huawei 5G equipment. However, the United Kingdom's series of repeated attitudes are simply shocking. It agreed to deploy, 
then replace Huawei's communication equipment, and then suspended the replacement. Later, the former British business secretary spoke publicly and explained the background reasons. Cable said that the British government banned and replaced Huawei's 5G equipment not because of national security, but under pressure from the United States. At that time, Oliver Dowden, the then British Culture Secretary who announced the ban, admitted that the ban on Huawei's communication equipment would delay the construction of Britain's 5G by at least one year, and the removal of all Huawei's communication equipment within seven years would delay Britain's 5G by two to three years. The point is that Britain not only loses a few years, but the ban will also bring Britain hundreds of millions of pounds in additional losses. More serious consequences have now emerged. According to data from the Okla report, the UK's 5G network speed and performance ranked last among European countries, and users could only connect to 5G 34% of the time, far below the European average of 48%. The British media Financial Times once cooperated with OpenSignal, a global mobile network research organization, to analyze the 5G download speed of mobile users in the Western Group of Seven. The results showed that the UK's 5G service quality and network ranked last among the G7. The root cause is that the British government banned the use and removal of Huawei's 5G equipment and services, resulting in the UK's 5G construction lagging behind. You know, Huawei's technology and experience in communication equipment are obvious to all, especially the 5G deployment plan is the world's leading. In recent years, Countries using Huawei's 5G have fully demonstrated with reality that the UK can only taste the bitter fruit itself. In this regard, some foreign media directly commented that the cost of the UK following the US restrictions has emerged. The UK is one of the first countries to start commercial implementation of 5G. It could have led other countries to enjoy the dividends brought by 5G, but now it has become the bottom. According to relevant information, the UK is now aware of the problem. The newly merged operator has announced that it will take 10 years to build 5G, with the goal of achieving 5G SA coverage of 99.95% of the population by 2034, but there are still many troubles to be faced.